All right, everybody, today we're going to do the worksheet on empirical formulas. It's only four problems, so it won't take all that long. Uh, you need a calculator and a periodic table. So get them before we start. All right, so we're going to be working on the empirical formula for a compound. Remember that that is the lowest whole number ratio. So the way this works is if I take Fe and I take the 72.4% and I treat it as if it is grams, and for oxygen, I take the 27.6% and treat it as if it's grams. We're assuming we have something that's out of 100 grams. Right? And what we want to do is we want to get rid of the grams of um, iron, because that's what we're talking about, 847. And that's grams of iron in one mole of iron. All right, so this will give us a number that's moles. And this is 1.30 moles. If I do exactly the same thing with oxygen, so this is grams of oxygen, I'm using my uh, units over there, and that's 15.999 grams of oxygen in one mole of oxygen. Well, that gives me 1.73, right? Well, now, the, the first thing that we did was we converted percents to grams, and then we took the grams and we converted it to moles, and now we're taking the moles and we're dividing by the smallest one, our smallest one here is clearly 1.30. So I divide them both by 1.30. And then here I get a 1, and here I get a 1.333. Right? And then what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to multiply until we come up with a whole number. But when I look at these, the number I have to multiply by is 3. Because that will give me a 3 to 4 ratio, and it will get rid of the decimals. Right? So what my empirical formula is, is Fe3 or 4. Right, let's go on to number two. Number two, again, I'm given percentages, so I'm going to assume that those percentages are simply grams. So for scandium, I have 65.2%. So I'm going to treat that as grams, and I'm going to go and look up on my periodic table what scandium weighs. And it's 44.956 grams in one mole of scandium. So when I multiply that out, I get 1.45. Now I do exactly the same thing for oxygen at 34.8 grams. And I divide by 15.999 grams in one mole. Right? And that gives me 2.18. So I take this, and now I have to divide by the smaller ones. So the 1.45 is smaller. So your top thing is equal to 1, and your bottom thing is equal to 1.5. So clearly I have to multiply by 2 to get rid of the 1 and a half. So that's going to be 2, and that's going to be 3. So my final answer is going to be SC2 of 3. And that is my lowest whole number ratio or my empirical formula. How about number 3? Here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 things. So we're going to have to work through this four times. So SN is 52.8%. So we're going to treat that like it's grams. And we're going to do the same thing with iron, which is 12.4%. So we're going to treat that like grams. And then we have carbon, which is 16%. So we're going to treat that like grams. And nitrogen, which is 18.8 grams. So we have to go through each one. So we're going to look at tin first, and tin is 118.71. So let's look them all up on the periodic table. That's grams in one mole. And one mole of Fe weighs 58, 50 something, 55. Hard for me to read that thing, 0.847. And then we have in one mole of carbon, that's 12.011. And one mole of nitrogen, that's 14.007. Right. I multiply, I divide all these out, right, and I come up with 0.445, I come up with 0.222, and 1.33, and 1.34. Well, I can look at the 0.22 and the 0.44 and say, well, that's a 1 to 2 ratio, but uh, looking at the other ones, I can't do that. So I'm just going to divide all of them by 0.22, because I'm dividing by the smallest. 
first one gives me two. Iron clearly gives me one. And this one actually gives me six. So, point two, 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 and that one gives me six. All right, so my ratio is two to one to six to six. Or SN two, FE, C6, N6. So that's my empirical formula for that compound. Okay, let's try this one. This is our last one. Carbon is 2.61 grams. Guardian grams, that's nice. So then we have 12.011 grams. And this is carbon in one mole. We do the same thing for hydrogen, which is 0.66 grams in 1.0079 grams in one mole, and oxygen, which is 1.74 grams. One mole. I get 0.645, and I get 0.109. Well, again, I can spot that the 217 to the 109 is a 2 to 1 ratio, but let's go and divide them all because I don't know what 0.645 is. I divide by 0.109, I divide by 0.109. The bottom one clearly gives me 1, the top one clearly gives me 2, and this one actually gives me 6. So my ratio is C2, H6, O, and that is my empirical formula. Okay. Again, guys, if you have questions, come see us in class. We'll be more than happy to help you and get you on the right track. Okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.